Okay guys, so going to be cooking today our signature dish across the groups. It's um, courgette flour stuffed with Monte Nebro cheese and drizzled with honey. This has been on the menus at all the restaurants um, since it all opened and Salt Yard's been open coming up to coming up to seven years. So here I've got uh, courgette flowers. We serve two a portion. First thing with the courgette flowers, you need to make sure they're supremely fresh and you need to make sure that the, the petals are intact and in good condition. Now, it's all about the petals. You're stuffing the cheese inside and doing the petals back up. And if the petals are damaged, the cheese will leak out and have all sorts of problems. The first thing I'm gonna do, and here I've got some plain flour. I'm gonna season with salt. There you go. I'm gonna add some baking powder. And all the baking powder is just to make it a little bit lighter and fizz up a little bit more. And then I've got here some sparkling water. Now, sparkling water just makes, again, the batter lighter. It kind of works nicely with the, the baking powder. It just makes a nice light batter. So, a little bit in first, just mix that up. It's really just a little coating for the courgette flour to give it a crispness. You don't want a heavy batter like kind of on fish and chips, that kind of thing. It's just mix that through. Make sure it's no lumps in there. If you saw the consistency of the batter, that's perfect. I'm just gonna let that rest for a a few minutes. Open the open the petals carefully and inside there's a stamen. You need to take out the stamen. Two reasons. One is that's where the cheese is going so you need that cavity but also they're bitter and then on the stalks we just want a little slit. The cheese we use at the restaurants is called Monte and Ebro um, and it's uh, sheep's milk cheese, pasteurized sheep's milk cheese from Mancha and it's delicious. What's good about it apart from it being a really delicious cheese, standalone cheese, is it cooks perfectly when you fry it or cook it. So it melts, but it doesn't turn into liquid. Probably about 10 grams or so for the cheese. Uh, make sure it's at room temperature, so it's pliable. Pop that into the, the cavity of the flour. And then I tend to turn it upside down, like so, and give it a little twist. And then fold the petals under and lay it down like that. And that's how we store our flowers. Twist it around in there and just make sure it's all completely covered. And then it's ready to fry. Okay, so on here I've got some uh, vegetable oil that I've brought to about 180. That's the temperature for frying the flowers. Got your flour here, make sure again it's, it's all covered. And now the best way to do it really is to put it in head first like so, and hold the head for about 10-15 seconds to seal it before you drop the rest of the flour in. And that just is another kind of check that the cheese doesn't melt and explode out of the, the top of the flour. So I'm going to drop that in, there we go. So just moving it around a little bit just to check it's getting evenly fried. So flour's been in there for two or three minutes and they're just starting to turn a little golden brown. Nice light batter and they're nice and crispy. And I'm just pulling them out and draining them onto this paper just to take any oil off but you can feel they're nice and crispy. That's really good. Okay, so, so our flour's ready. Now we're going to plate them. Come onto here. So this honey is going to work beautifully with the, the salty cheese. Delicious. So there we go, that's our signature dish, courgette flowers with blossom honey.